Hey, what's up you guys? This is Alex Sanchez from KCTV, and today on The Game Corner, we're going to be talking about two different games, Call of Duty Black Ops and Guild Wars 2. This is your monthly update. Guild Wars 2 is a subscriptionless MMO being produced by ArenaNet, the same company who made Guild Wars 1. It was originally intended to be an expansion called Guild Wars Utopia, but due to the nature and complexity of the content they had in mind, it became another game entirely called simply Guild Wars 2. Alright, so, in Guild Wars 2 you have up to 8 different classes to choose from to make your character, although only 4 of which have had information released on them at this time. So, Guild Wars 2 is really trying to revolutionize the way character classes are handled in MMOs. Instead of having a dedicated healing class anymore, instead, they've gone with a system that has a dedicated healing slot uh, in every character's bar for a self-heal which means there's, no, there's not going to be any more waiting around for a healer to come along so you can do a mission or a raid. The first character class we're talking about today is the warrior. He can either do melee combat, ranged combat, or support role by standing as a human meat shield in front of other less armored classes. And he can do all three of these very effectively. So the second class we know about is the Ranger. He can do ranged combat just as effectively as the Warrior, but uh, just generally plays a different role in the game. He's more lightly armored and faster than the Warrior is. Surprise! A cool thing that the Ranger can do is set an area on fire and then put his arrows through it, causing them to catch on fire and doing extra damage to the enemy. And a lot of skills in this in the game interact just like that. The third class we're talking about today is the Elementalist. He's your general run-of-the-mill wizard who deals damage in any of the four elements based on which he's attuned to at the time. He's more of just a damage-dealing character. The four classes that they can attune to are Earth, Wind, Fire, and Water. So, the last class we're going to talk about today is the Necromancer. He's kind of a scary class that deals with death and blood magic, and can do anything from siphoning life out of the enemy to raising minions that can either explode or fight. He's also the only class in the game that has the ability to inflict a condition fear, which basically makes the enemy run away. So, what all has changed? Well, Guild Wars 2 is set 250 years after Guild Wars 1, so quite a bit has. First and foremost, Syria has guns now, thanks to the Char. Second, humans and Char are not at war with each other anymore. Instead, all the races have band together to form a loose alliance to help fight our third reason, which is a massive evil dragon that's trying to take over and destroy Tyrion.
Well, that's all the information we have about Guild Wars 2 thus far. Next up, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops with Josh. Josh?